Hi, I'm Anna. I am from Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. I am 17 years old. I recently finished the college application process. I was accepted Georgetown University uh, for the early action round and I'm still waiting to hear from a few schools for a regular decision. I think that it's just a very overwhelming process, like anyone who has even started looking at the Common App website, even though it's pretty easily easy to navigate, um, knows that it's a pretty difficult, just like it's very time consuming process. And I think that the reason that I just wanted to have someone to help me with that was just because I didn't want to take it on all on my own. And I wanted to have someone who was familiar with it because like I, you know, uh, was telling my friends a few weeks ago, like I feel like applying to college and stuff is now just not even something people just do. It's like an art. Like a lot of people have really kind of perfected how you can make yourself sound like the best version of yourself. And so I think that that was really what I was looking for. I love to write. Um, and so I just wanted someone to make my writing and my persona uh, come across that much better. I decided to work with Quad because Honestly, I did kind of a lot of searching and my friends, a lot of my friends already uh, were working with college counselors or, you know, knew someone or was a family friend. I was kind of just like, I just want someone who I don't know yet and that I can just have kind of a clean slate with and work with. And honestly, when I looked at Quad, was, I was just very happy to see that, you know, they had the numbers and they had the uh, people and the resources. and. I just think that was the most beneficial to me. It was very straightforward, uh, unlike some other services that I was, um, you know, looking at at the time. So I really, and I now am really happy that I ended up picking Quad. She originally helped me a lot with kind of navigating how I should format my activities and my personal statement and things like that and picking schools and picking whether I should send tests to schools or apply test optional. I was working with her kind of day in, day out on, um, you know, very personal, personal essays about myself and about my life. And that's really where I feel like she shines. Like she just is like amazing at like digging out the best personal qualities in people and just like writing about it. Her personally, she's just someone who's great to work with. Uh, I was so happy to get to even just meet her as a person. She was so kind and so accepting of the details of my life and just the things that I wanted to share and the things that I didn't want to share. And she was always so respectful, but she was also very like, she was also very perfectionist, just like I was. And she was like, we are gonna get this out the door. It's gonna be done. It's gonna be great. We're gonna check it over a million times to make sure it looks just the way you want it to, which is just what I needed someone to do. I needed someone to advocate for, uh, for me and for what I wanted. So I was really happy working with Yasmin. Yasmin's ability to kind of be like vulnerable about her own self and about her own life and just being able to like have a conversation that makes you more willing to like write. I think that it was really nice to work with someone who, you know, didn't feel like they had to write my essays for me, but also wanted to like open up so that we could write something that was like really personal to me and would really get me where I wanted to go. So I would say that her personal like vulnerability in working with me and just being able to share details about herself um, and she and having me kind of bounce off of her and her kind of bounce off uh, me was just really conducive to like a very productive and safe writing environment and I just really liked that. I think my greatest piece of advice would be don't force what doesn't work. Um, so if you're like not feeling in the mood to you know write one supplemental or something you know, and it's not due like the next day, like just kind of, you know, relax and remember that it's it's okay. And to just go try something else, try your hand at something else. And that doesn't mean like go sit around and do nothing, but it also means like just really go with what you feel you could do at the moment because that's, there's like a lot of things that you have to write and there's a lot of, um, you know, stress, whether you want it or not, involved in the college application process. and the less stress you can give yourself based on only th like things that are in your control, uh, 
is the better is just going to be much more helpful for having you know better writing better test scores better continued academic performance so that's what i would say